Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in and welcome to another comic book haul video where I tell you guys all the comic books I picked up for... It's been a while, it's been a couple months since I've actually done one of these. We're going to focus on three particular series in this video, okay? Uh, from Graphic Library, we're going to talk about the Max Axiom series. Uh, from DC Comics, we have Harley Quinn. And from Zenoscope Entertainment, we have the Wonderland graphic novels, all right? So if you're not interested in any of those three series, you know, I'm not going to waste your time. You can watch some, some other video, you know? I just told you everything that we're going to talk about in this in this particular one. Uh, I do have other videos, other combo call videos, where I talk about Spider-Man, Wolverine, Superman, Batman, stuff like that, all right? And I'll put the links to the description, um, some of my favorite ones below. Low. All right, so let's talk. Let's get started with from Graphic Library, the Max Axiom series. Now, if you don't know, uh, I'm actually in school right now, getting my master's in education. My goal is to become a chemistry professor because I got my my bachelor's degree in chemistry. So I figured, why not? Let's let, let's teach it to the, our future generations and stuff like that. And one of my assignments in the class was to find something that's not a textbook, okay, um, that you can use to teach chemistry. And I found these these awesome graphic novels, these comic books talking about chemistry. And I was like, I, I gotta show this to my class. I actually had the bread, one of the best pre presentations in, in the class because I was, uh, you know, I drew all my own comics and stuff like that on, on the screen. People were very intrigued and actually linked with other other fields. Like they actually had graphic novels related to history. Like if you wanted a comic book about the life of Martin Luther King or something like that, or Benjamin Franklin or whatever, they actually do have it from this the same, same people in a graphic library. Okay, so in this particular one, Max Axiom talks about, this one in particular talks about science safety uh, with Max Axiom. Super Scientist is what his name is. And it is in, in graphic, in, in a comic book form, you read it like, a, like an actual comic book, okay? But as you're reading it, you're learning about chemistry and, and, and science and stuff like that. Um, so this guy, he talks about other stuff too, like... Uh, adventures in sound, forces in motion, so there is like physics and, and uh, biology also. Talk about ecosystems, photosynthesis, uh, food chains and stuff like that. Very interesting, you know? And this guy, he has his superpowers that he can do whatever, uh, kind of like the magic school bus, you know? The magic school bus can shrink down to the size of an atom, talk about water molecules and the periodic table and stuff like that. Very interesting. So we got science safety, states of matter. This one's actually in kind of size. Okay, so here's him talking to his friends, uh, talking about solid liquids and gases, okay, uh, stuff like that. So the states of matter. And finally we got chemical reaction activities, which is, you know, if you want to do a lab or something like that in class, I can actually look at this book and be like, hey, okay, so let's, let's do an experiment in class. Uh, let's talk about um, bubbles and mixtures and stuff like that. So we, there, here's one where actually uh, tells you step by step how, how to do this, this experiment. Uh, this one's talking about fire and uh, and it has candles and stuff like that. I haven't really read this. This one's talking about copper, uh, using pennies to do chemical reactions and stuff like that. Very interesting stuff. Okay, so if you're if you're interested, uh, you can probably go to your local uh, library or something like that. And you probably find these these comic books in your in your library or even in, in school. <laughs> what other comic books do you see in school, right? So so you probably see these in in, in your uh, your your school's library or whatever. The next one we have here is from DC Comics, Harley Quinn. Uh, as most of you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Harley Quinn. Um, I actually picked up a couple of ones from the from a couple months ago. They had the Harley Quinn month where all the variant covers have Harley Quinn on them. So I picked up Green Lantern, has Harley Quinn. She's not even in the actual comic book, but they just put her on, on the front cover just because she's so popular, you know? Uh, I have seen the picture for the Suicide Squad movie she looks all right, you know? I don't have much complaint. I have to see her perform and see a trailer, actually see the movie before I make my judgment. But uh, what I see so far, not bad, right? So here's the one for Aquaman also. She's not in the actual kind of... I like this one, but she's cute in this one. She's playing with a dolphin and stuff like that. Uh, next one I have here is from the... There's an upcoming video game called Arkham Knight. Batman Arkham Knight is from the Rocksteady Games. Um, this is issue number two of, uh, of kind of like a prequel to that uh, video game. Uh, it has Harley Quinn right on the cover of it, so that's really cool. So I thought I'd buy it just for the collection. And then we got, let's see, issue number 16 of Harley Quinn. I believe this started a new, because uh, I haven't finished the, the, the past story arc yet. Um, there's so, much, just so many stuff to read, man. So many video games. I'm so busy <laughs> to read comic books, but I, I believe this started a new story arc in the Harley Quinn ongoing comic books. So here's issue 16. She looks nice. 
And there's supposed to be like multiple Harley Quinns in this one. She has like her own Harley Quinn squad or something like that. So looking forward to reading this one. There are alternate covers of this one also. Oh, another one of the, uh, you know, the variant covers for Justice League United. We have Harley Quinn right on the cover right there. <laughs> um, so there it is. I see Supergirl. Um, Stargirl. I think that's Hawkman in the back right there. Very interesting. And then we got uh, what started was... Uh, in DC Comics, they started this thing called Convergence, where like past universes all come together and whatever. I haven't really uh, read it at all. Um, but they actually did one specifically for Harley Quinn. Only two comics, by the way. So here's Harley Quinn Convergence, issues one and two. All right? I haven't read them yet. So uh, once I'm done with this haul video, I'm just going to start reading these comic books and uh, we'll, we'll just go from there. I wonder what, what, what they did to Harley Quinn to combine her past self with her present self. You know what I mean? Like different universes, different... Uh, uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, and oh, I, I probably should have talked about this first. Uh, issue number 15. So this is the last story arc that we talked about. It's got her in the front right there. And... Uh, Next we have here are the Xenoscope uh, series, Xenoscope Entertainment graphic novels for the Wonderland series. I actually have every single, after this haul right here, I have every single comic book in the Wonderland uh, graphic novels, okay? The first one we have here, uh, we're just going to, Through the Looking Glass, okay? So it is a uh, graphic novel related to Wonderland and all that stuff. Here are some screenshots with... Uh, very provocative imagery. Okay, that's what the series is. You know, it's like uh, girls in skimpy outfits, and they're all in a bra. Some of them they're just completely naked in some of these comic books. <laughs> I'm actually going to do since I have all of them, in my mind as well do a collection video. It's been a couple of years. I, I did one previously, but uh, I, I didn't make another one. We got volume five of the ongoing series. All right. So if you want to like a, a this one collects issue number 21 to 25. Uh, I do have all of them. If you want a brief description, you can read that. All right. And uh, onward, we have Wonderland number six. I don't know why, but they changed the, the... They don't match anymore. You know, this one's all white and red. This one's all black. All the previous ones before this has been black. So I don't know why they changed it. I uh, love the cover for this one, by the way. By the way, uh, in all these graphic novels, they actually include the covers for all the, pre the all the variants and stuff like that also, which is really cool, all right? And uh, I believe that's Callie right there. <laughs> so she's one of the main characters of the entire series. Uh, the next one we have here is Grim Fairy Tales versus Wonderland. I believe this is just a, a spin-off series. I guess we'll know when we read it, or I, I don't know if it's actually uh, canon to the rest of the series, because there's there, there's other series going on also. Like, there's a Little Mermaid one, Robin Hood one, Robin with a Y, by the way. And uh, they all, there's, like, there's Cinderella, there's just Snow White comics and stuff like that. And uh, I think this is just one that, you know, just combine all, all the, the universes, all the worlds together, you know. Kind of like the Once Upon a Time series on, on TV. It's kind of similar to that. Um, and finally we have here Clash of Queens. This is the latest one, I believe, that came out. Um, for all we know, yesterday came out another one or whatever. Um, but yeah, taking a looking forward to reading these. I'm only on volume three of the ongoing series. And they, they released six now, so I'm so, I'm so behind. Um, not only that, we have a lot of these spin-off series, also like Clash of Queens and Through the Looking Glass and stuff like that. Um, I haven't even read Asylum or uh, Down the Rabbit Hole. Still haven't read those yet either. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been pretty busy, all right. But but school's over for me officially now. The the spring semester, of course, the summer semester is about to be starting about a month or so. But uh, yeah, uh, that should be plenty of time for me to read these. They only take about what half an hour or so to read uh, an, uh, a kind book. So there it is. If you're interested, uh, go ahead and pick these up yourself, and uh, you know, comment, subscribe. What other series should I, should I check out? You know, a lot of people suggest Walking Dead and stuff like that, but I don't even watch the show. I, I only played the video games and stuff like that. That was pretty much it, you know. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, people. Comment and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.